Y'all, have you ever come home and seen a package on the porch? You're thinking, um, what did I buy? And you realize I didn't buy anything, but it's got your name on it, which means it's a gift. And you're like, yes, that's what happened today. I am gonna open this package from my buddy Coulter Day over at Borderland Supply. And man, this thing is wicked cool. I'm so excited to share it with you. If you went to the Hunt Expo this year, a booth in the back, you were able to see these things. Check it out for your Euros, for your mounts, for your sheds. A throwback to the historical pack frames. I introduced to you the Borderland Supply frame packs, the Trapper Regular and the Trapper XL, a little bit of extra rope. These things are so cool. They are made to look like that kind of that historic period where guys were carrying these wooden type frame packs wrapped in canvas, the cotton rope. Oh, I love them. The old packs, if you're looking like on eBay, and again, I'm regurgitating stuff that I heard from Coulter, but they're so expensive. They're really hard to find. They're not in great condition. And so he and his wife mastermind this, put this together, and this is for sale to hunters, sportsmen, collectors. I think this thing will look so cool with some old fly gear on it maybe a basket. Let's do something creative today with both of them. And then I'll drop a link in the description if you want to find one. What a awesome way to clean up your trophy room, have something unique in there. Um, I love that antique classic look, man. We've got this old deadhead that's just, I think it's just perfect for that pack. I like it because it's it's not finished. It's chalky, it's worn, it's been chewed. And then this old fence post, which is just covered in a tangle of wire, what I want to do is cut this down, make it look like this deer died tangled in the wire with a piece of fence post, and then put it on that pack. I just think it's going to be, I think that's so cool. So let's set this out of the way and let's detangle some of this. And I don't wanna cut this with a saw because you see it's got all the nice gray ends on it. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it. I'm probably gonna have to drive over it with a vehicle on the curb. I want it to be yay long and I wanna use all the wire, like a big mess. And then uh, if you ever run into wood like this, you get that raw broken end or a cut in. You can use a product called Driftwood. Uh, you can weather it yourself, but I like best is just, just, just mud. It'll just dry, bitch and gray, and look like it was the bottom of the fence anyway. And so let's, uh, let's, let's, let's get her, let's get her moved around. I'm doing this for a client. I hope he likes it. I did not ask first. It's all right, it's a buddy. So I gotta find a way where he would get that kind of wedged up in there. And I don't really want it to take away from the character of this deer. It's got split eye guards on both sides. Super freaking cool. And then we're gonna put a big ball here to cover this end because it broke pretty nice. <laughs> Sweet. So, this thing comes with some with some rope that matches the rope on your pack. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Coulter says that it's like a coffee stained cotton, which is really antique -y, neat looking. So here's our deadhead in the fence post, which you all see is a, is a fake, um, but super cool. And I wanna put it on the XL 
because I think the white horns on the brown pack is gonna give me more contrast and I kind of want it to hang at an angle. You'll see a lot of these with everything perfectly square and all the knots and everything tied off right. I like it not so perfect. I like it to be crooked. I like to look like you're packing out of the woods and you gotta retie it twice on your way out because you're trying not to get meat to spoil so you've hurried it. Um, but ultimately, I'm gonna lay it on here. I'm gonna try not to tear up this pack even though it's kind of its permanent resting place. And let's just, let's do just square knots. Regular old, old school. I don't know what I'm doing in a pinch square knot. So it's a little unorthodox for me, but I'm gonna do this handheld so you can really take a look at this pack. You see the wire that's up inside here? That's what you're hanging from. You've got those posts. I love the color that's in the natural staining that happened in that thing from being on the ground. I love its color against the brown, the cotton string, the fence post, that mess of wire is just really cool if you ask me. You could go into any cabin, any high-end home or restaurant in Yellowstone or Montana, see that on the wall and you would not second guess that that wasn't a hundred years old. I always have a tendency to run these videos long and I don't mean to but I get so excited about a product or something and I just get I get caught up in the middle of it I don't want to shortchange it what I'm really trying to do is uh, let you know that this pack is out there and available this is the first time I've taken anybody in here this is a new trophy room essentially it's more of a shed uh, that I just got kind of everything put into one place I love it it's a neat little spot um, Instead of showing you the whole process of going through it, I'm going to show you what these look like with a euro on them, with a couple sheds on them, um, with what I think is going to be really cool is just a bunch of hanging hides off them. They are called the Trapper Series. Um, and then we'll put them on the wall and I'll just end with photos and a link to the website. Take a look. Uh, there's nothing in it for me. I'm not promoting this for money. I just think it's beautiful. It should be shared. I have it upside down. And uh, if you're looking for a really, really unique way to um, take an animal on the wall and make it look classic, historic, unique, take a look at the Borderland Supply Packs. Let's wrap this up. So, wild bison from the Henry Mountains in Utah, Borderland Supply Company, canvas wrap frame pack, historic, classic, beautiful, timeless. Coulter, thanks for sending them this way. If you're interested, there's a link to the website in the description and a much more thorough and in-depth look at all of the information on the packs that Coulter and his wife does. This will be the very first thing you see as you walk into the new trophy room. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.